this fair play 2333 and i want to give a salute to all my cinema cronies welcome back to the power book multiverse and cinema show where you get the latest in power universe and cinema breakdown I, I, I just want the life that in this can't afford we whip, we whipping them babies once you can't afford not looking for beef but some you can't avoid and if i'm on a mission is you on the voyage we get to see Don Carter meet Davis. Now, what's going to happen from this situation? Is Don Carter the reason that Davis gets suspended? Could Don Carter come in finding out what's going on with the Theo situation and start to point fingers at Davis, which leads to them possibly finding out that Davis might be the one who committed the manslaughter murder that Theo went down for? Or could it be a situation of Don Carter comes in because he's trying to press Tyreek and he end up finding out that, you know, Tyreek and Monet both uh, are, are bad guys. But also at the same time, he ends up finding out that Davis has been doing work for both of them. We don't know what Sachs put on that young flash drive. Everything is a theory from this point moving forward. It could be anything that it got to do with, but we going to figure it out as soon as we figure it out. But it could be, you know, Sachs basically turned all that evidence over that he had to Junior. And Junior felt like the only person he could really trust or rock with is Carter. Now, I'm not saying that's going to happen 100% for sure, but I'm saying that's something that could happen. All of this is turning and boiling down to be what? Um, it's boiling down to a show off. Now, we know that Davis is actually not good. He's not as bad as Proctor, but he also not a good lawyer. And he's a good lawyer, but I mean, like, he don't have the morale to care. Like, he don't care if his client guilty or not. His job isn't to figure out if his client is guilty. His job is to get his client off. And as long as you got the money, Davis going to work any angle he can to get you off. Like, even when y'all see when he was covering Tasha, he covered Tasha, but he threw somebody else up under the bus to make sure she got off. And essentially, he knew that that couldn't be used against him. So um, we got to look at this situation and see how it play out and see what all comes from this and see what they do. But I think this is very interesting. Don Carter meeting Davis. If you have Facebook, join Power Book Multiverse and Cinema. Um, become a member of that group. It's going crazy right now. What do y'all think that Davis and Carter will be? Do you think they'll be beefing? Do you think that Davis will turn on Tyreek? I highly doubt that Davis will turn on Tyreek. He seemed like a stand-up guy. He seemed like a real guy. You know what I'm saying? For him to catch a manslaughter, for him to be running around with Theo, for Theo to be in jail and Theo to be good, Theo not having no issues, nobody pressing him. Um, even with his sickness, he was still in gym pop doing his thing. So you know Theo was thorough in the street. So we just got to see what Davis, but Davis is one who going to survive by any means necessary. And um, we saw that Davis has a gun before. We also saw him holding a gun in one of the trailers. So when we look at this situation, we have to also take into account that Davis may be the person to take out Carter in order to save his career in order to save his reputation carter may be the type of person who's trying to hold things against you carter may be the type of person to say i got this information on you davis and unless you do xyz this is how it's gonna go and when you look at people who try to blackmail you people who try to ask you for money people who try to tell you i'm i'm gonna put your information out unless you do this for me or help me get this or do that them type of people, they're going to always come back. So what you got to do is you just got to handle that, nip that in the blood. Listen, hey, whatever you feel like you got on me, whatever you want to say, go ahead and do it. And I'm going to handle it how I handle it. But you call and asking me for money is a crime. Now, what could possibly else happen? Could Davis actually turn Don Carter in for trying to ask him for money or for trying to blackmail him to work against Tyreek or something? Now, Man, I don't know, man. It's a lot going on. Today is the actual what? What is today, y'all? Tell me what today's day is. Y'all know what today is. Today the 5th. Y'all know it come on on when? Tell me when. It come on on the 7th, right? So at the 6th, 
at 12 midnight, everybody who really with the SHIT, they're going to hop on there and they're going to be looking at it. And I'm one of them people. We're going to go live on the 6. I know I haven't went live in a while. So when we go live, we're going to get it under suggestion. We're going to see what's going on. We're going to get it popping. That's all we're going to do out here today, bro. We're going to figure out everything. And if everything is everything, it's everything. I don't want y'all to complain. I want y'all to enjoy what's going on man because i'm finna start back giving y'all a lot of videos now if y'all interested in chicago do's and don'ts or just do's and don'ts in the hood y'all go check that out also at the end screen y'all gonna see my movie no time to play fair i think at this point it's at like 250,000 or 270,000 actually plus views i ain't really checked it in a while but i think the last time i checked it was 270 so y'all go check that out now tell me once again what do y'all think davis and carter is talking about how do you think that this situation is going to turn out um and tyreek man what is tyreek going to do from this situation tyreek has the most to lose out of everybody tyreek has an inheritance now his mama don't have any of his money so once he died his money wouldn't go to his mama it would go to his next sibling which would be yaz now with tasha keeping or tasha getting back custody of yaz um, she probably have access to that money now. So she probably able to live pretty decent, but that money may also be in a trust fund. We haven't figured it out, but it may be some stipulations on that money. Uh, just like Ghost put some stipulations on Tyreek money and he did so, so Tyreek wouldn't blow his money. So I would guess that he would do the same. So Tasha wouldn't blow Yaz money or Yaz wouldn't blow her money before she was old enough to really make some decisions, move and shake and have things going in her life, et cetera, et cetera. Tasha is going to play a huge role in this next upcoming season. And we're going to see a lot of things unfold. Don Carter is going to be the new villain. I know a lot of y'all not understanding that. Noma is definitely going to be a villain, but Don Carter is going to be a villain. And at some point, I see all of them working together to get rid of Don Carter. Because you got to understand, when it's coming to like their criminal lifestyle, they trying to get a Rico. So everybody is attached to everybody by everybody. So that means... Um, guilty is guilty by guilty. They all guilty by default. So when this situation come to head, everybody gonna need everybody in order for everybody to stay out of trouble. It's not gonna be no big eyes and little U's. Everybody gonna be on the same page because everybody gonna have just about the same amount to lose when it comes to this situation. And nobody wanna lose it all. And that's what I mean. You know, Noma may be the king woman. Uh, Monet may be the king woman. Ty Tyreek may be seen as a king pin but everybody gonna lose it all and who wants to lose it all in this situation nobody especially if you can end up winning out of this situation so um i just wanted to explore this a little bit i wanted to figure out you know uh just go through my thought process live and figure out what i was thinking about don carter bring my thoughts to y'all and i want y'all to jump in the comments for sure comments and let me know what y'all think about this situation and how would it play out for y'all how do y'all think it should play out but um one thing's for sure two things for certain Don Carter cannot get out of this season unscathed. I know it's the last season, but I keep telling y'all this isn't the last iteration of the uh, multiverse of Power Book Ghost. Tyreek will definitely be moving on to something else after this. Salute to all the cinema cronies. Check out the original Chicago Hood web series, No Time to Play Fair, Chicago Do's and Don'ts episode. It's out now, written by, co-directed by, and starring me. Fair play 2333.